Homeroom begins with a male teacher named Rintaro Aida riding a bicycle. He is known as a handsome and kind art teacher to all the students at his school. So, he became the girl's favorite teacher there. It turned out that he had an interest in one of the female students named Sachiko Sakurai. While in class, Mr. Aida seems to explain art subjects to his students. He shows some examples of paintings from the best artists in the world. But the class condition changed when Sakurai told him someone was bullying her. Her friend glued her chair, so she couldn't get up from it. Because of that incident, Mr. Aida carried Sakurai to the school clinic with a chair attached to her body. At the clinic, Megumishina helped him to release the chair. Afterward, Mr. Aida returned to the classroom to find out who had bullied Sakurai. He also asked his students to tell the truth about who did it, but none of the students wanted to admit it. Then he asked all his students to lower their heads on the table. But a group of naughty students does not want to obey his orders. They were a female student named Hoshi and three male students named Makoto, Inui, and Takenochi. But after Mr. Aida scolded them, they immediately lowered their heads. He asked the culprit to raise his hand so no other students could see it. But his efforts were in vain, no one wanted to admit it. After school hours, Mr. Aida approached Sakurai, who was with her female best friend named Nobio Mariyama. At that time, he gave her a glass of tea which he believed could help her sleep soundly. He also told Sakurai not to hesitate to ask for his help if she needed it. He also said that he would definitely protect her, then he left. Arriving at the house, Mr. Aida threw out glue, meaning the real culprit was himself. In the evening, Sakurai was seen studying while drinking tea from him this afternoon, making her mind more relaxed. Instantly this condition made her remember when Mr. Aida came to her house. At that time, Sakurai talked about herself, who was left by her mother because her mother preferred to be with her new lover. But she didn't mind it because she still got pocket money from her. Hearing the story from Sakurai, Mr. Aida was sad and said that now she was not alone, because he will always accompany her. After remembering the incident, she fell into a deep sleep. But the unexpected thing happened. Suddenly Mr. Aida came out from under her bed naked. But he didn't do anything bad. He just wanted to explain tomorrow's lesson while groping himself. So, turned out that Mr. Aida did not return to his house since he came back from school, but he hid at Sakurai's house while waiting for the right time to do his action. And the tea he gave her earlier was part of his plan. The tea turned out to have been mixed using sleeping pills, making Sakurai fall into a deep sleep and not notice his presence. After doing this strange thing, Mr. Aida went to the school library with a container filled with mud that she would use to set a trap for Sakurai because everyone knows that she likes to tidy up the books in the library. The next day, Sakurai went to the library to tidy up the books. Her whereabouts were monitored by Mr. Aida. But while watching her, he was suddenly surprised by the arrival of Sheena, who wanted to remind him of their night patrol the next day. Sheena, who has a crush on him, tries to flirt with him. Meanwhile, Sakurai, who was in the library, approached the male librarian Kenyahagi to ask the location of a book she wanted to borrow. But after checking, it turns out there is no history of borrowing the book. Yahagi also reminded her to be careful. When Sakurai was about to put the book down, she was caught in a trap by Mr. Aida, making her scream really loud. Hearing her screams, he was eager to help her, but it turns out that it was not Sakurai who was hit by the trap but Yahagi. After school hours, Sakurai approached Yahagi to apologize for the incident earlier in the library, but he didn't mind the incident because he seemed to like her. On the other hand, Mr. Aida looks annoyed because he failed to trap her. Then, he intends to repeat his strange actions toward her when she is fast asleep. The next day, Mr. Aida, who explained farming to the students, was suddenly surprised by Sakurai's arrival, who told him that someone had bullied her by inserting insects into her food supply. He was even more surprised that it was not only he who wanted to bully her. Mr. Aida immediately found out by asking the students in his class to look down and then raise their hands for those who did the prank. But no one there raised their hands, even his action was considered ridiculous by Takenochi and his friends. But Mr. Aida remained calm and asked the students and perpetrators to tell him if they had any complaints. On the other hand, Mr. Aida is still very curious about who has bullied Sakurai other than him. He also installed surveillance cameras in every corner of the room to record the perpetrators who wanted to bully her. But he was again surprised by the arrival of Sheena, who wanted to remind him of their night patrol tonight. Long story short, Mr. Aida and Sheena were on their night patrol, but the situation was instead used by her to seduce him like before. But he then left her and chose to go to be alone again with Sakurai. However, on the way, he was caught by Takenochi and his friends, who followed him until he reached home. There they do not know that the house is Sakurai's house. The next day, Sakurai was bullied again while in the school toilet. Mr. Aida, told by Murayama, rushed to her, thinking he had managed to record the perpetrator who bullied her. 
When Mr. Aida wanted to help Sakurai and take the surveillance camera he was hiding, the female student council president named Nana Shiratori came to check the toilet. The student council members found the surveillance camera belonging to Mr. Aida, making him panic. Moreover, Shiratori uses a detection tool that can track the whereabouts of the device related to the camera, and the detection tool also leads to Mr. Aida. But when he was caught, he laughed and said that the device was ringing due to the earphones in his pocket. Then he left them and destroyed the object from the camera. While at the school clinic, Ms. Sheena told Sakurai that a surveillance camera was found by the student council in the school toilet. Knowing this made her feel worried. On the other hand, Mr. Aida, who didn't want Shiratori to open the camera's contents, also wanted to take it back by pressing the emergency bell at the school. While in the student council room, Shiratori was seen opening his laptop. But suddenly, someone hit her on the head from behind until she fainted. Not long after that, Mr. Aida enters and is surprised to see her who has fainted, but he sees that his surveillance camera has been taken by someone. He was confused about what to do with Shiratori, but he took her to the hospital anyway. When Shiratori woke up in the hospital, she saw Mr. Aida beside her, who fell asleep while sitting. He woke up, but she was unhappy with him. She asks why he doesn't look for the perpetrator that beat her. He hugged and comforted her immediately, then went home, leaving the hospital. Afterward, Mr. Aida went to Sakurai's house to do his strange habit. Then, he left and found a letter from Inui at her home locker, which was planned to be given to him. The next morning when Sakurai looked at her locker, she saw a letter. The letter was an invitation to meet somewhere after school hours. She thought that the letter was from Mr. Aida for her. When Sakurai wanted to ask Mr. Aida about the meaning of the letter, she saw that Shiratori was inviting him to speak. It turns out that Shiratori said that the hug from him at the hospital made her always remember him. Hearing this, Mr. Aida just smiled and left her, saying that there was someone he was protecting. Sakurai, who heard that was flattered and thought it was her, the one he talks about. In class, Sakurai was still smiling, remembering Mr. Aida. Then she thought about meeting Mr. Aida just like what's written on the invitation letter. When the bell rang, she instantly ran while carrying the letter to the appointment place written on the letter. While smiling happily, Sakurai continued to run without confirming the truth of the letter. Inui and his friends who were hiding were confused because it was not Mr. Aida but Sakurai. But Takenochi told them that he changed his plan to use her so that Mr. Aida also came. When she arrived there, they ordered her to enter the place. While at school, Mr. Aida looks for Sakurai's whereabouts and asks Nobio about it. Then they try to find her. Finally, in an unused room, Mr. Aida managed to find Sakurai who was held hostage by Takenochi and his friends. They ordered her to take off her clothes, and when Mr. Aida arrived, she had to hug him. They planned to record it so that he is expelled from school, because they were fed up with his presence at school, who always advised them. Mr. Aida, who was peeking and eavesdropping on their conversation, was annoyed. But he is still confused about what to do, because if he helps Sakurai, it means he has fallen into the trap of Takenochi and his friends. He also suspected that they were the group of students who had bullied her all along and that they were also the ones who snatched the surveillance camera from Shiratori yesterday. Meanwhile, in the room, Sakurai seemed to be bullied by them because she didn't want to comply with their request. Suddenly Ahagi came there and immediately opened the door. He also threatened them by saying that soon the teachers would be there. Fortunately, his words managed to make them leave her. Yahagi also told Sakurai that he received a message from an anonymous saying that she was there. It turned out that the person who sent the message was Mr. Aida because he couldn't help her directly. The next day Sakurai came to the library to thank Yahagi because he had helped her twice. It turns out that he likes her, so he feels he has to help her. He also told about the incident when the emergency bell rang. Yahagi saw Sakurai throwing something behind the school building. Hearing this, Sakurai was shocked, because at that time, she was throwing away Mr. Aida's camera, so the one who hit Shiratori was her. She did that because Sakurai didn't want everyone to know that she spilled water on herself in the bathroom yesterday just so Mr. Aida could come to help her again. But Yahagi thought that at that time, Sakurai was throwing insects, because he had seen her throw away the insects when she was bullied by her friend some time ago. He also advised her to report the incident to the police. Sakurai, still feeling scared, asked Yahagi not to care about it. Then she said goodbye to leave the library. That morning, a female student named Yatsume Yua appeared. She turned out to be a student at the school who had been absent from school for a long time. When it's time to go home, Sakurai was seen following Mr. Aida, that wanted to go home by bicycle. Here they are both feeling indecisive about each other's feelings. She was curious about who the person Mr. Aida protected that he told Shiratori, while he was disappointed because he couldn't help Sakurai directly when she was held hostage by her friends. 
Mr. Aida also felt Sakurai's gaze in class was very different, so he thought she was disappointed that he didn't help her earlier. Even though, at that time, Sakurai was thinking about who Mr. Aida protected. She also managed to follow Mr. Aida until he got home. But then, she saw Ms. Sheena had been waiting for Mr. Aida since earlier and she suddenly hugged him. Ms. Sheena comes there to flirt with him, but because he only likes Sakurai, he asks Ms. Sheena to leave from there and closes his door. When Mr. Aida is in his house, there are many photos of Sakurai on the wall. It turned out that he often takes secret pictures of her and prints them out. He uses it to fantasize using her photos. On the other hand, Sakurai was still outside Mr. Aida's house. She was curious about his home, so she peeked through the bedroom window. However, due to her careless movement, she fell something. Then she was surprised and embarrassed when she saw Mr. Aida not wearing anything in his room. Mr. Aida panicked and immediately chased after Sakurai, without realizing that he was only wearing shorts, so that makes him arrested by police officers. But Sakurai said that Mr. Aida was her uncle, so the policeman released him. The police finally advised him to wear clothes when leaving the house. Finally, they were chatting somewhere. Then, Mr. Aida asked the reason why she came to his house. She felt confused and told him she came to ask about a lesson she didn't understand. From the conversation earlier, Mr. Aida concluded that Sakurai had not seen the contents of his room. He asked Sakurai to promise to keep everything that happened that night a secret. She agreed, and they both went back to their homes. He seems happy because his secret is safe. When Sakurai got home, she was surprised by Nobio's presence. She was worried because Sakurai had no news and did not reply to her messages. She also asked about what Sakurai did after school, but Sakurai didn't want to explain anything and walked into the house. The next day, a male teacher expressed his concern to Mr. Aida because a student named Natsume returned to the school again. She loved to flirt and used it to trap the teacher. He tells that Natsume once trapped a teacher named Shinichi Mori. She secretly made a video that looked like Mori was doing something bad to her, thus getting him expelled. On the other hand, Natsume, who had returned to school, immediately approached Takenochi and his friends. It turned out that she was the leader of their group. Her friends immediately told her that there was a male teacher that was very annoying named Mr. Aida. They wanted her to do something so he could be expelled from their school. At the same time, Sakurai was walking to school. Nobuyo went to her and asked what she was doing yesterday. But she didn't seem to care about Nobuyo. She was still wondering who the person Mr. Aida was protecting. Does the person was Miss Sheena, because she saw Miss Sheena meet him last night. In the evening, Mr. Aida hid under Sakurai's bed to do his plan. He had mixed sleeping pills in the tea he gave her. Suddenly Natsume came to Sakurai's house without permission because she was following Mr. Aida going there. But when she opened the door, she only saw Sakurai. Because she didn't believe it, she tried to search Sakurai's room. When Sakurai went to the kitchen to make tea for Natsume, she accidentally dropped her candy next to Sakurai's bed. Then Natsume could see Mr. Aida was hiding under Sakurai's mattress in a naked condition. He felt surprised and immediately ran away by jumping from Sakurai's window. Natsume chased after Mr. Aida without informing Sakurai what had just happened. On the other hand, Mr. Aida is still hiding on the balcony of Sakurai's house. He was confused about what he should do at that time. The next day Natsume didn't tell her friends about it. She only said that Mr. Aida was not at his house when she went there. Suddenly, Mr. Aida comes to school wearing a mask to make Natsume doesn't recognize his face. Unfortunately, he has to teach in a class where Natsume is. After teaching, he decided to meet Ms. Shina at the school clinic and asked for some information about Natsume. Then she tells him about the same incident that happened to the male teacher long ago. She also advised him to be careful around Natsume. Suddenly Ms. Shina dropped Mr. Aida onto the bed, then she kissed him on the lips. Unfortunately, Sakurai saw that, which made her very disappointed in him. She immediately ran away with Nobio following her. Mr. Aida pushed Ms. Shina to run after Sakurai, but on the way, he is detained by Natsume, who wants to talk about last night's incident at the school warehouse. Natsume also asked him to lick her feet, but he refused. After she threatened to tell about what happened to everyone, it made him forcefully follow her request but on the condition that she must give her cell phone to him. On the other hand, Sakurai was devastated by what she saw earlier. She thought that Mr. Aida and Ms. Shina had a special relationship and Ms. Shina was the one who was being protected by him all this time. Seeing Sakurai so sad, Nobio comforted her. But how surprised she was when Nobio expressed her love and kissed her. It turns out that all this time, Nobio was a lesbian. But Sakurai rejected her love. Although, at first, Nobio said that she hated Mr. Aida for making Sakurai love her. But in the end, she supports Sakurai's feelings for him. Then, she left while crying. Unbeknownst to them, Takenochi had been watching them. 
He also felt sorry to see Nobio sad because Sakurai rejected her. Then Nobio, who was looking for Mr. Aida's whereabouts, was shocked by what she saw. She saw he was licking Natsume's feet in the school warehouse. He immediately approached Nobio, and she slapped him. Since then, she thought that he didn't deserve Sakurai. Not long after, Sakurai caught Nobio in front of the school warehouse. But Nobio didn't say what she saw so that Sakurai wouldn't feel disappointed. Even she said that she couldn't find Mr. Aida. Deep down, Mr. Aida was worried about what Nobio will say to Sakurai. He immediately got out of the warehouse and ran away from Natsume. In the evening, Mr. Aida returned to Sakurai's room quietly. He hid under Sakurai's bed and came out when Sakurai was fast asleep. Suddenly he thinks that Natsume, Nobio, and Miss Shina are his enemy, and he needs to get rid of them because they are a threat to him to do his strange action against Sakurai. The first step Mr. Aida is about to get rid of Natsume. He sees the video footage of her trapping Mori. The next day he returns to teaching in Sakurai's class. However, Sakurai and Nobio still remember what happened yesterday, which makes them behave differently towards him. It also made him want to get rid of the three women. But suddenly, Mr. Aida received a message from Natsume asking him to meet at the school warehouse at night. When the night came, Mr. Aida also came to the school warehouse. At that place, Natsume has other plans. She hides her cell phone to record them. She again asked him to lick her feet. But before he did that, suddenly police officers came to the warehouse. Natsume felt panicked and told the policeman that Mr. Aida was about to do bad things to her. Seeing this, he instead laughed and responded casually. Because he was the one who invited the police officer, who turned out to be Mori, the teacher Natsume had framed. Mr. Aida could recognize Mori from the incident when he chased him, running naked while chasing Sakurai. It is known that Mori only cosplays in a police uniform because his life has been ruined after he was framed by Natsume and her friends. Mori's arrival that night was to avenge Natsume's actions at that time, but she threatens them by saying she has other plans that could put them in a dangerous position. She told them that she had hidden her cell phone to record them. But Mr. Aida already knows Natsume's cunning plan. He calls her cell phone so that her cell phone can't record. Then Mr. Aida leaves Mori there to do his action against her. He finally succeeds in getting rid of Natsume, leaving Nobio and Miss Shina. The next day at school, Mr. Aida was watering the plants and was accompanied by Miss Shina. Then he invited her to spend the night with him to get rid of her. Unbeknownst to them, Sakurai had overheard their conversation secretly, hearing that made her furious, and she wanted to kill Ms. Shina. Nobio, who saw Sakurai's strange movements, immediately followed her. But Nobio was hindered by Takenochi, who wanted to talk to her about something. Sakurai was seen walking quickly to find Ms. Shina's whereabouts, but accidentally, Mr. Aida saw Sakurai and followed her. After meeting with Ms. Shina, smoking outside the school building, Sakurai looked at her sharply by hiding a knife behind her. At that time, Ms. Shina purposely made Sakurai jealous by saying that she and Mr. Aida had a special relationship and had done something fun together. She was surprised to hear that and told Ms. Shina that she loved Mr. Aida. But without her knowing, Mr. Aida, who was hiding, heard her confession. But Ms. Shina thought that what Sakurai said was just bullshit. Hearing that makes Sakurai angry, and she wants to attack Ms. Shina with her knife. Luckily Nobio came at the right time. She immediately stopped Sakurai and calmed her down. Then Nobio also said that she had seen Mr. Aida do something bad behind her. But Sakurai did not believe Nobio's words and said that her words did not make sense. She was disappointed because Sakurai did not believe her words. Then she left Sakurai. When Nobio wants to be alone because Sakurai doesn't believe her words, suddenly Takenochi comes to her. He wanted to express his love for her because he felt sorry when he saw Nobio being rejected by Sakurai. But she immediately rejected him. The next day while in class, Sakurai was bullied again by her friends while Mr. Aida was teaching. At that time, her shoes were hidden by someone, making him have to check on his students, but he still found nothing. Not long after that, Ms. Shina entered their class and gave Sakurai shoes to Mr. Aida that she found in the trash. Surprisingly Ms. Shina said that Nobio had done it. Nobio who felt that it was not her who did it, immediately defended herself and leaked the lewd incident between Mr. Aida, Ms. Shina, and Natsume to Sakurai. But all the students did not believe Nobio's words. Sakurai also couldn't believe her words. Because everyone didn't believe her, she chose to leave the class. Takenochi, who loves Nobio, defends her and runs after her. Then Mr. Aida was happy because he managed to eliminate another enemy. It makes him feel safe to continue his strange actions towards Sakurai. Then he put Sakurai's shoes on, and all the students clapped seeing that. On the other hand, Takenochi was approaching Nobio, crying alone on the stairs. He tried to calm her feelings and said that he believed everything she said. Nobio also asked his help to take revenge on Mr. Aida and save Sakurai from him. 
Takenochi accepts her request and will help her, but he asked her to accept his love, and she agreed. Mr. Ida met Miss Sheena behind the school building when the lesson was over. It turned out that they had worked together to do this to Nobuyo, but he had to keep his promise to spend the night with Miss Sheena because she had helped him. When it was time to go to class, Mr. Ida seemed to be in the classroom alone while contemplating. He felt bored because everything seemed so calm at school. He has not been able to become the man his mother wanted him to be, which is to protect the people he loves, until he learns that one of her students, Sakurai, lives alone because her parents have died. From that moment, Mr. Ida decided to make Sakurai someone he would protect, but the way he did it was wrong because he purposely did the bad thing to her so that he could become her hero. The worst part is that he does strange things to Sakurai every night. He always comes to her house secretly. He gropes her body after she sleeps. He shouldn't have done that because he already knew that Sakurai loved him. On the other hand, Sakurai is currently feeling lonely. Nobio is looking for some information about Mr. Aida by gathering information from some students there, but she instead got some information about Takenochi from Yahagi in the school library. He said that Takenochi and his friends once held Sakurai hostage and forced her to take off her clothes. Hearing this, Nobio asked Takenochi to meet behind the school building. She was angry and slapped him, but she tried to be calm after remembering her original goal, which was to find information about Mr. Aida. So, she forgave Takenochi and continued their plan. In the evening, Mr. Aida met Miss Sheena to keep her promise. When she said that she felt satisfied after bullying Nobuyo, it turned out that Mr. Aida recorded it. Then he used the tape to threaten her. After that, he left her. When Mr. Aida walked home, he was confused, thinking about her feelings for Sakurai. But in the end, he decided to go to Sakurai's house and do his strange act again. He comes to her room. He saw Sakurai was sleeping. He immediately fell asleep behind her without wearing clothes and hugged her. It turned out that Sakurai did not drink the tea he gave, so she did not sleep soundly. Knowing about this, she chooses to keep silent. The following day, Mr. Aida left Sakurai's room. She was confused by her feelings after knowing he secretly did that to her every night. In class, Sakurai was still thinking about her feelings for what happened last night. She also wondered whether what Nobio had said all this time was true. On the other hand, Mr. Aida also felt confused about what he should do with Sakurai next. After that, Mr. Aida reflected again and admitted that all this time, what he had done was a big mistake. He was afraid that Sakurai would find out the truth and couldn't accept it anymore. Finally, he decides to confess her feelings to her. When the bell rang, Mr. Aida chased Sakurai, who seemed to be avoiding him. But finally, he managed to stop her steps. He was trying to express his heart, but because he was nervous, he just gave Sakurai his brewed tea making her feel very disappointed. On the other hand, Takenochi and Nobio were seen meeting Natsume to find information about Mr. Aida. There Natsume said that all this time, Mr. Aida hid under Sakurai's bed naked because she saw it herself. It makes them think that there are still many bad things he did secretly. Finally, Nobio and Takenochi decided to find out more about Mr. Aida. They went to his house to find more information there. Meanwhile, at that time, he is under Sakurai's bed, not wearing any clothes. When Sakurai came to her room, she knew Mr. Aida's presence. Finally, she decided to arrest him, who was hiding under her bed. At the same time, Takenochi and Nobuyo, who had managed to enter Mr. Aida's room, were surprised. Because in his room, there were a lot of Sakurai's photos that he had printed. Even Nobuyo found the tools he used to prank Sakurai at school. However, Takenochi was surprised to see a scary shadow, so he took her away from there. Not long after that, Mr. Aida arrived in front of his house. He saw Nobio and Takenochi were there, and it scared him, then he chose to leave, but he was caught by Takenochi's friends. After he was caught, they also interrogated him. Then, he admitted all his actions. At that time, Mr. Aida felt devastated because Sakurai had known all his bad behavior toward her. He still tries to convince her that he didn't abuse her, but it turns out that Sakurai really can't accept him. She screams loudly to make him go away. After hearing Mr. Aida, Nobio felt very angry and kept slapping him. After this incident, she hoped he would no longer come to teach at her school. But the next day, Mr. Aida kept coming to school like nothing had happened. But this time, he announced that he would resign as a teacher. He said the reason for resigning was because of his love for Sakurai. He also calmly told all his bad behavior towards Sakurai. He did this because he was bored with his students, that always pretended to be calm. Hearing this, all the students felt angry and hit Mr. Aida. They also gang up on him and hit him, but Sakurai tried to stop them making him happy that she still wanted to meet him. At that time, Sakurai said that all Mr. Aida's actions were a big mistake, but she also admitted that she also does bad things to get his attention. 
it turns out that they both have the same traits. She said that right now, she didn't understand the strange feeling Mr. Aida gave her but maybe in a few years, she would understand. Then, Sakurai said goodbye to Mr. Aida. Hearing this, he cried and felt very sad and regretted what he had done all this time. After that incident, he was no longer a teacher at the school and completely disappeared from Sakurai's life. Ultimately, Sakurai and Nobio became close friends again and lived their lives normally. Five years later, Mr. Aida seems to work in a junk factory after losing all his dreams. He also takes sleeping pills every night to forget all his bad memories. Meanwhile, Sakurai is currently working as an art teacher, just like Mr. Aida. But she also found the same incident as what happened to her a few years back then at her school. Surprisingly, Sakurai was seen under Mr. Aida's bed, who was fast asleep. The film ends. The moral that can be learned is not to do bad things to get attention from others, because something bad can become even worse in the future.